you guys, Lindsay here, and today we are talking about February sewing plans. So, when I sat down to do my plans for February, I was thinking to myself, okay, February is a shorter month, it only has 28 days, you have no days off of work other than the weekends, like let's be practical about setting goals um, and what you can accomplish. For the um, January makes that I did, I didn't make any of those things. Well, that's a lie. I made this. So this is my toaster sweater out of the cable knit, which is great. Um, this was the So My Style project for January. So I was really proud to get that done. But the, the navy and white striped bowline sweater didn't get done. And the um, art gallery voil, um, kimono or I didn't have the project picked out yet um that didn't get sewn either I did sew a lot I just didn't sew those things um I have a, an excuse for one and no excuse for the other so we'll get into that in a minute but um so I sat down with the with the hopes of being practical and then I ended up coming up with one two three four five projects um, so I know that I'm not going to get all of that done. There's just no way, but I'm putting it on my to-do list anyways, because it's like a vision. If I put it out there to the universe, maybe some big storm will come through and I won't, they'll call off work. And so then I'll have all these extra days to sew and I'll have the projects for it. Um, honestly though, a couple of them, most of them actually are spring patterns. So if I don't do them this month, they'll probably roll over into March. If you saw the Instagram story that I did when I went shopping um, at Joann's, then some of this won't be new to you. If you follow me on Instagram, may not be new to you. Um, but if you haven't, then catch up catch up with everybody else who's been following me on social media. Um, the first one is M7549 and I feel like this is going to be the pattern for them for the season. I have seen so many people are already finished this. Um, Hello Allie J who has a cute adorable little blog. She lives in Durham, North Carolina. She's like my sewing soul sister i feel like we have a similar style both southern girls anyways she's almost done with hers um and here's where i am with mine <laughs> um i started this uh last weekend and of course i wanted to do the quilted version of course i wanted to do um it just like the model because i'm so unoriginal like that um but what i didn't realize is quilting all of that was a really challenging for me i fumbled through how to find the best way to do it um b uh quilting takes up a ton of thread my machine was just like burning through thread so i had two of the smaller guterman spools completely gone and i still have probably four pieces to quilt like that's how much thread you go through trying to quilt this jacket so that's at a standstill till i can get back to joann's it's like a 30 minute drive and i just haven't i'm not going to go out there just for thread so i've been waiting for like some other kind of sale or something else that i needed um to go out there so that project will hopefully get wrapped up in february um an update on the art gallery voile project so i asked you guys what should i make i was torn between a tunic bible top um between kind of like a classic um button up with like a puffier sleeve or a peplum top and the comments started rolling in and people started suggesting kimono top and it was like duh like obviously why didn't i think of that this fabric has for sure like an asian flair to it with the um with the is I don't know if this is the um, cherry blossom or not, but it kind of reminds me of cherry blossom, cherry blossom buds. Um, so yeah, I was like, yes, 100%. This is going to be a kimono top. So the problem, the reason why the kimono top get, did not get sewn in January is because the pattern that I picked out, which is M seven three five eight, my Joanne's didn't have it. So I was, 
So again, I'm waiting on a sale because I'm not going to pay full price for a McCall's pattern at Joann's when they go on sale for $1.99 like every five seconds. But um, the next sale isn't until the weekend, like this weekend, the weekend of the 2nd through the 5th or something. So I'm going to go back out there and see if they have it. Um, if they don't, then I'll just end up ordering it online. Hopefully the online sale will still be going on. Right now it's $2.49. So I don't know. Should I just go ahead and buy it online? Ugh. I don't know. But then all the other spring patterns are coming out, like Butterick, um, their spring summer collection just came out. So I wanted to check in that and make sure that there wasn't another kimono top that I absolutely loved. Um, so this M3, M7358 is a kind of a cross between a tailored button up type shirt with, a, it just has the tailored sleeve and like a, almost like a shoulder um, yoke. Um, which to me says like tailored button up, but instead of the button up part, it has a wrap um, and a bow, like a sash with a bow, which I really love. Um, there's also M7200, which is almost like an open cardigan that comes with a belt. Um, I don't know if I would like that because I know I'll have to wear a tank top underneath and I'm, I don't really love that feel or the way that that looks. Um, so I'm torn between those two, but I wanted to check out the Vogue's. I wanted to check out the Butterick's, um, even Simplicity, I think, um, has their spring and summer stuff coming out. So I just wanted to make sure that for sure, now that I have the time to spend, um, to make sure that M7358 was the one that I absolutely wanted for sure. Um, so that's where we are with the Art Gallery Boil. Um, and then some other projects that I'm dying to make are uh, M7253, which is just your basic pleated skirt pattern. I have two really great fabrics for this. One of them is 100% polyester, um, one of the silky fabrics from Joann's, but I got it on the clearance when the clearance was on sale, so it was like $2 a yard or something. And I don't know, it's just really pretty to me. I just thought it was pretty and I didn't care that it was cheap or man-made or <laughs> any of that. I just thought it was pretty. Um, the other fabric is like a poly charmeuse and it feels like silk. It feels so rich and expensive. Um, it was not on sale. Um, I did use a coupon, but that was it. So yeah, I want to make a couple of pleated skirts um, just for spring that you can know you just tuck in a little t-shirt and, you know, can make a comfortable but dressy outfit. Um, also, I am into the sleeve trend. Like I'm all about what's happening with the sleeves right now and I am 100% into that. So um, this is, gosh, you know, this happened to me before. So... When you go to Joann's, they have some patterns that are set out just for um, display, and those patterns get a different number. Yeah, I don't really understand it either. So this says MP252, but that's definitely not what it is. Okay, so I found it. It is M7505, and it's this really cute, just like simple sheath dress. Um, but the sleeves are trumpet sleeves. So it's like fitted through like back down to the elbow and then it flares out um, below the elbow and it's just so, so cute. Um, I made a top similar to this um, in January. I'll, I'll do a video on that um, that you guys will see soon. And I'm just totally obsessed with the sleeves. I am, I am, I am totally on board. And also I have been seeing the sleeves, especially like this um, almost flared type of sleeve everywhere. Um, I watched um, Lifetime did a remake of the Beaches movie and then following the movie premiere, they did like a behind the scenes sort of thing where they interviewed the actors and Sarah Haynes was the host and she had this red peplum top. So, you know, you can know, you know what a peplum is with like the little circle skirt and then had those almost like peplum sleeves. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea to have the peplum top with the sleeves. They kind of like played off of each other. And then I swear like on live with Kelly or maybe some other morning show. I saw somebody else with them on. Um, I've just been seeing them absolutely everywhere. So like, you know how the uh, cold shoulder was last year? I feel like these trumpet sleeves are gonna be it for this year. It is the 
the trend that everyone's going to be doing and I will be there ahead of the game. I've already got one top made. Um, I know my friend Brittany on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. She's been sewing up a bunch of um, sleeve detail tops too. So catch on. Everybody's doing it. It's not too late to get in on this one. You're going to be seeing them everywhere. Promise. And then the last one is just really one of these loose fitting tops. I've kind of been into looser fitting tops lately. Um, this one has a couple of variations, but I really want to do the one that ha that uses the border print, but I haven't found any woven border prints that I have been into lately. I'm sure that Telio has some on fabric.com, so I should go check out there and see what they have. Maybe this would be a good option for the, um, Rayon Shally. Was it Rayon Shally that I was going to use for my cold shoulder top? And I asked you guys if I should remake the same cold shoulder dress um, in the other fabric. Do y'all remember that? I wonder if they still have that, if that would be a good option for this. It might be a little too lightweight and drapey because this one kind of, you know, flares out and it's supposed to be kind of billowing. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, so those are my plans for February. I am very unrealistic in the plan, but I am very realistic in knowing in like the expectation. Like I know that I'm not gonna get through all of these, but that's okay because honestly, like we just never had a winter here. Like this weekend, it, there's a cold front coming through and the highs are gonna be in the 50s. And that's as cold as it ever got and I don't see it getting cold anytime soon. Um, so there's not gonna be any more sweater knits. I am just forging right ahead <laughs> on to spring, continuing to make um, clothes that you can wear in like 70, 60, 70 degree weather. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I love it. And you will hear me complain when the summer comes and it's like a million degrees here, but this has been glorious. I've loved every second of it and I'm just in the mood for spring constantly. Um, so my sewing is obviously gonna reflect that and I'm gonna make skirts and short sleeve tops in February because that's how we roll here. So um, let me know what you guys are making in February. If you have a blog or a vlog, leave a link down below, promote yourself. Let me know where I can find you um, so that I can watch and read and see what you guys are all making. If you don't have one of those, that's fine too. Just um, leave the pattern name or any information you have about the fabric in the comments. I just love finding new patterns, new ideas on how to use different fabrics and just love seeing what other people are doing. So share all of that with me and the other viewers in the comments section. And yeah, that's it. I gotta go get sewing. I only have, well, 27 days now to get through these my projects. No, I'm just kidding. I, um, I'm gonna run, but I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.